One of the most impressive sites you'll find anywhere in the world is right here in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota, Mount Rushmore. Guts and Borglum's tribute to four presidents who shaped our country's history. Guts and Borglum was the architect of Mount Rushmore. He was born of Danish immigrants in the western state of Idaho. Not only was he a talented artist and sculptor, but he was a political activist back in the 1920s when our country was prospering. Let's visit his studio. When you come to Mount Rushmore, there are many friendly park rangers to greet you. Ed is one of us. You're one of the park rangers oh, here, Ed. absolutely. What is absolutely. your role? What do you guys do? Uh, I'm a park ranger, interpretive ranger, and what we do is we explain the history of the mountain, give you all the background, we do walks and talks, we have a ranger walk, we take people down the presidential trail, explain to them how Mount Rushmore got its name, some of the Black Hills history. Why don't you give us just a brief synopsis of what you tell? What, what did happen in 1923 and why did Borglum pick those four presidents? Okay, well, the big thing happened in 1923 is when Doan Robinson, the South Dakota state historian, he wanted to attract tourists to come visit South Dakota. We're a young state yet, and he knew tourism was going to be a big part of South Dakota's economy, and he wants to get a start on it. But he wasn't thinking about presidents, he wasn't thinking about Mount Rushmore. He was thinking about the Needles area. If you've been down there, you see these great big granite oh, spires sticking out of the ground. He wanted to take those spires and carve individual Western figures in those. People like Buffalo Bill, Lewis and Clark, Chief Red Cloud. So he got a hold of Borglum, invited Borglum to come on out here in the, um, September of 1924. Borglum went to the Needles area, but he rejected the rock. He said, there's too weather, there's too many cracks on it. So he left, went back down to Stone Mountain. This is where he was learning how to carve mountains. But then eventually, to make a long story short, they let Borgum go from Stone Mountain. He come back out here in August of 1925, and he told Don Robinson, I want to do a national focus. He said, Western heroes are too close tied to South Dakota. If I do a national focus, I'll attract people from around the country. So the first drilling starts October 4, 1927, goes on for 14 years, ends October 31st, 1941. And he picked the four presidents, why? He picked the four presidents because he wanted to have an approximate theme of 150 years. So George Washington, of course, is the birth of the nation. He represented the father of our country. That was time zero. That's where our timeline starts with a new country. Got it. Then we went through a period of expansion. That was Thomas Jefferson with the Louisiana Territory Purchase. And then we had a bad time of our country's history, the Civil War. We were torn apart. And at the end of the war, Lincoln preserved the Union, got us all back together again. So he's representing that period. And then Theodore Roosevelt. He's for the economic development, making us a, taking us into a new century, making us a world power. This is impressive. The mountain itself is amazing. But the facilities here at Mount Rushmore are also pretty impressive. Oh, sure. We had a big re redevelopment from 94 through 98. You see all the new buildings because the old facilities, they were just too small. We had so many people and we had to turn some of them away. There used to be big lines of traffic down to Keystone. So now we've got a brand new parking lot, beautiful museum down here. We show two movies, one about the history of the mountain and a great movie about the wild side. It takes you to the other side of Mount Rushmore with the animals and plants in the park. Great movie. People like to see both of them. Borgum did the whole thing. He wanted to represent freedom. That's why he did it. And he summed up why he carved the mountain in 11 words. And the words were, man has a right to be free and to be happy. And that's what that symbolizes, the freedom we enjoy in this country. And that's the whole basis for the mountain. So where are you guys from? Uh, Fort Riley, Kansas. Well, welcome to South Dakota. What do you think about Rushmore? It's uh, awe-inspiring. I think it's awesome. How, what would you tell your friends back home in Kansas? Why, why should they come and see Mount Rushmore? So they can learn about more about the president. You're going to Iraq? Yes, yeah, for my second tour, year-long deployment. And um, I feel like a uh, quality time to be spent with my sons. And our nation was built by these founding fathers and on the backs of our soldiers, and I'm proud to serve.